Good morning everybody from a very chilly pit where it's about six degrees this morning uh, but we're up early but there was somebody up earlier than us that's the Ascari Pride and they've made a kill this morning and they're busy right on the side of the road here um, eating a zebra. Okay, so I'm not going to speak just for now. There's some fantastic noises coming out of this uh, pride of lime. So let's just enjoy those. So when the cubs are young, uh, they'll start to take meat at around eight weeks old. And at that stage, they're actually given a little bit uh, of freedom with the carcass and they're encouraged to eat, to learn. Um, but obviously by this age, it's everyone out for themselves. You can see it's a real battle to get your spot there on the carcass. I'm not entirely sure of the makeup of this pride, just from what I saw the other morning. I think there's only one little male amongst those seven youngsters which means he's got three sisters and three female cousins and two mums. So he's really outnumbered in there. So like I said, they've got a zebra here. A zebra weighs, uh, I'm, not, I'm not too sure actually if it's an adult, all I can see at this stage really is ribs and legs. Uh, so I'm not sure if it's an adult zebra, but if it was, uh, then that would be about 350 kilograms in weight. Uh, obviously that includes quite a lot of bone. Um, but a good amount of flesh that you can see they're really working to get off. They do, uh, they don't necessarily eat bone, but obviously take some on uh, while they're feeding. And then at a later stage, once the meat's finished, then we should see them using those um, bristle cat tongues to lick meat off of the bone as well. No sign of the males, uh, so this must have been taken down just by the two females. The zebra is always a favourite for lions, obviously it's a, a very good size. If you're going to put the effort and energy into making the hunt, get a good reward. This should keep these guys fed for a nice few days.
So we are coming up to the time uh, in the next few months where these some of these youngsters may leave the pride. It does seem to vary between individual prides, but historically the Ascari one is quite a tough one to survive in. Um, whereas in some prides, the females are allowed to stay on and just become part of the pride. Uh, generally, for the Ascari pride, all youngsters are thrown out, whether you're male or female. Um, naturally, it happens around 18 months old, but again, in the Ascari pride, it's tough. And they have been thrown out as early as 15 months before. And then it's quite common for those youngsters to stick together for a while, both males and females. Uh, but really is survival of the fittest at that stage, uh, whether they can find an area free from other lions that they can uh, utilise and hone the skills that they need for hunting and survival. And for those who do make it, uh, the females could potentially return to the pride um, and maybe strengthen the numbers. It's really just the two adult females at the moment in Tombi and Tamu. Uh, but the males will generally move off into other areas, find new territories. They'll have to keep a low profile for a few years uh, until they're a bit bigger, maybe around three, four years old, in which time they can start to challenge for their own territory and a pride for themselves. Now it's all calmed down a bit. Um, I've tracked down the head it does look to be just a young zebra actually, which would make sense as to what, how they've made such quick work of this. You can just see that young lion is busy with the head there. adult females moving off there so it looks like some of the cubs are going to follow. Just literally taking it leg by leg now. <laughs> So that's most of the pride moved off now. We are going to leave them to it. Uh, we'll definitely come back and check the carcass a bit later today towards dusk. We're going to be looking for my favourites, the hyenas. Uh, definitely first thing tomorrow morning as well. Maybe we even get lucky with a brownie. Just before we go, the lions have moved off completely now. They haven't gone far. They're just under that nearest tree at the back. So I'm not going to get out the car. But I wanted to show you what's left. It's literally just a piece of flattened grass. They've eaten everything. Um, everything that they haven't eaten they've taken with them. You saw a few legs being carried off there and really the only evidence now is here on the road where the kill happened. You can see on the right there's a piece of uh, intestine left over and then on the left this is actually the stomach content of the zebra. So some unprocessed grass um, left over there. I'm driving past You'd be hard pushed to know that there's nine lions sitting under that tree there. 